Hi guys, welcome back to the Southern Go-Kart Club. We are out here with a newly extended and resurfaced track. We've got the Arrow X6.1. We'll be doing three sessions today to get a baseline time so our previous videos are relevant and our new ones coming up in 23 are also relevant. After we do our three sessions, we'll be changing a few things on the go-kart to try and give you a few tips and tricks to make it easier when you come to Southern Go-Kart Club next time. Maybe gearing, maybe the front end, see what happens there. Also, we have a lot of exciting content coming up this year, so like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Thank you. So just went out for the first session and it was slippery. So we're gonna leave the car exactly the same. All we're gonna do is we're gonna put five pounds of pressure in the tire. So we're gonna go up to 15. We had the recommended Petruzzi course, nine and a half to 10 pounds. We're gonna to go to 15 and see what happens. So the initial layout, it's um, very tight. Uh, if you're offline, it's really dusty, obviously, because not many cars have been around. We've really got a tram track of a track at the moment. So I have to wait until the first meeting and people start passing and cleaning the whole track up. But at the moment, there's just one line around the track. It's gonna be good racing though, once it's all cleaned up. It's gonna be left, right corners, opportunities to pass, but then you have to be smart because if you pass in the wrong spot, you'll be gone to the next corner. So it's gonna be a, a lot of driver skill involved. Uh, hi, I'm Luke Madere. Yeah, it's really good. I'm loving it. I think I think it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I love the whole change of direction and the, the little curves that we have, the little S's that we have to go through. That's a lot of fun to get on the rear end of that. Obviously new tracks are really slippy, um, so I'm getting my head around it. I'm do having to do a lot of readjustments as I go around. So the hardest part of the layout is, I think corner three, corner three or corner four, where you have to go right and it's a sharp left. So it gets in your head a bit, but because of the dirt that can come off the track, there's really just tram tracks out there, so it's hard to stay on them. We finished off our sessions here today at Bolivar. They said it was going to be 26 degrees, but it feels like it's about 36 degrees out here. It is scorching hot. There's been a lot of uh, local carters out here today. As you can see, it's pretty well packed down here at Bolivar. Now, first time out was very slippery. I think we just got into the 48 second mark. We then fiddled around a little bit with the cart. Pump the tire pressure's up six pounds from our usual setting. So we went up to 16 PSI and we found a lot of time. So we got down to a 47.4. So that would be our new benchmark time for our next test. It was, the track was, it's like tram track, so if you're not on the racing line, it's very, very slippery. But if you're on it, it's actually getting pretty grippy, especially when you pump your tires up. We didn't play with the gearing. I think there'll be some time in that because the new part of the track's very twisty. So you might have to put one, two, three teeth on, lack a bit down the straight, but you're fast through the new bit. Or do you go a little bit slower through the new bit and be able to pass at the end of the straight? It's gonna be pretty tricky with the car setup. So yeah, the main trick I found out of today was just pump your tires up and drive it slow in and fast out. Let us know what you think in the comments, like, subscribe, follow on Instagram and look forward to having a cart review video for you soon.